Make sure that you've cloned the starter project and that you're looking at a master branch. To start the application, open a terminal inside the project directory and call yarn first to install the dependencies and then yarn start to spin up the development server. Now we can open the browser and see the working application. The application is called Nordic Pixels. It's a fictitious platform for buying prints of Scandinavian scenery. It lets us browse and sort available photographs, choose the preferred aspect ratio for the print that we've chosen, review the details and place the order. The application is quite simple, but at the same time it should give us enough room to play with animations and interactivity. So let's take a look at the project structure. Nordic Pixels is a single page application that was bootstrapped using Create React App CLI. Let's open index.tsx file, and as you can see, we have two routes in the application. Forward slash route is handled by a home component, which renders the main content of the application that we can see over here. Forward slash sandbox route renders a special sandbox component, which is separate from the rest of the application. We'll be using Sandbox to introduce some features of Frame of Motion where it makes sense to explore them in isolated environment before applying in the main application. Next, let's take a closer look at the components we have. First of all, there is a home component, which is the top level component for the main parts of the app. Inside, it renders a header, which contains app logo and sorting buttons, a grid with images that we can click on, and a detail component that we can toggle by selecting one of the images. Inside details components, we have a model panel with the content that depends on the current step that we're at. When we toggle details components, we start on customize step that contains the carousel where we can cycle through different image ratios. After we click continue, we get to a review step. Review step renders a list of some dummy properties for our order. Finally, when we click place order, we get to complete step, which is simply a confirmation screen with an SVG icon and a text. To close the model, we can click on the drop overlay behind it. Finally, let's take a look at how application is styled. For the sake of simplicity, all styles are defined in the same file, so we're not going to use CSS and JS libraries or try to make styles more modularized or isolated. To make navigation easier, I mark different sections inside styles file, so we can see global styles, styles for components, and styles for different screens. We're going to explore all components in more details when we start working with them, but now that we have a general overview of the project and its structure, I think we're ready to make our first animation.